Hey, you're back again with My Nature Apps. Today we're going to take a look at brown knapweed. And uh, the name kind of throws it off. It's not, uh, it's not really brown, as you can tell. It's uh, a purplish uh, red color. Um, brown knapweed gets its name, we might as well tell you right off the bat, from the bract underneath the flower head. If you look at the bract, it's brown, if you can see it in there. It actually it resembles a pineapple to me. And that's how I remember it, brownish, pineapple-like. Now there's also a black knapweed, and that bract on the black knapweed would obviously be black, but this one is brown. That's how this flower gets its name. Now you can see by, by checking it out that there, it's a five-parted flower. It's a central disc type flower. I would call this one thistle-like, um, but it has a central disc. These are your, your disc flowers in here, and these are your ray flowers. And each one of these uh, little little things, you think it, it's, it's five-petaled, but it's a little flower by itself. It's tubular very long that goes into the uh, into the disc. It's a very pretty flower. This is going to be a late uh, mid to late summer wildflower. Um, one of the other features on this flower, the leaves are alternate. It can grow up to uh, up to three foot tall. The flowers themselves, the whole flower head, the overall head, can be up to an inch and three quarters to two inches wide. But the leaves, and it's really tough to say, the leaves, they're kind of sickle shaped to a degree. Here's one of your leaves. This one not so much, but they they twist. They don't lay flat like a typical leaf. They're a little bit twisted, a little bit uh, wavy, and a little bit sickle shaped. They're a little. Uh, there's variations on the leaf shapes, but some of the leaves are going to have a small tooth on them. So you would actually say this leaf is toothed, even though 99% of the margin on it is smooth. It does have a small tooth. Um, some get as big as to be a lobe, and the leaves themselves are elliptic to uh, oblanceolate in shape. And uh, those can be up to four inches long. Um, so one of the features on that is to look for those those teeth on the, the the two characteristics for this wildflower is the teeth on the leaf, and the leaves again are alternate. They're not compound. That would be a totally different knapweed. Uh, sparse teeth on the leaf, and you want to look for this brown colored bract under here. That's going to give this flower away. That's going to tell you you found brown knapweed. Thanks for joining us. Find us on the web, mynatureapps.com. Have a great day in the woods.